So some of you talked about the, the challenge of transcripting uh, competencies. I mean, it seems to me, we, we hear a lot about exciting innovations in higher ed, um, but it seems that the HR department is where some of those ideas go to die, um, where you know, uh, f folks you know, in HR just look for kind of familiar alma maters and programs. And um, what are some of the, the elements of your programs that you really think are of value to employers, and how do you convey them in a way that, that sticks? Anyone want to take a crack at that? I mean, in, in my case, it's not a program. It's getting people to see the value of an individual certificate. And in that case, it's really getting the word out there that our model of how we're doing the cert certification is different. And the other part is, you know, we are in Kendall Square and we're near very, you know, the, we're in the biotech central area. So we can just, you know, try to reach out to the people and the connections we have there to really explain to them how it's different and why it's different. And, you know, if you want to know if your lab tech has this background or not and what level of biology they know, they can take this exam. And we also work with local programs for high school teachers and they uh, use our materials because um, that's another group of people getting training because biology has changed a lot over time. So knowing biology 20 years ago is very different from knowing biology now. So a lot of people need updating and biology knowledge and going through the course or you know just taking the exam to show that you have that updated knowledge is valuable to some people. Anyone else? So College for America is a little bit unusual in that everyone who comes in comes in through an employer. Um, so, but I can tell you that employers are actually thrilled about um, competency-based education because they, that's the language they speak by and large. <clears throat> but um, it's actually not so much the HR department, it's sometimes the, the form that the HR department requires to have something reimbursed, right? And I remember we were at a very large um, logistics and shipping company that I won't mention somewhere in the south. <laughs> and um, we had this conversation in which the high level people were really excited. And somebody says, but I don't understand. It says gr the grade has to be at least a C. And where will we put this in the form? And there went, you know. <laughs> um, now, we, we actually worked a lot with employers. And there are definitely workarounds. But I find it's not necessarily the core learning model. It's you know, getting people reimbursed if their employer is paying for it, or financial aid and that kind of thing. That sure. actually is where a lot of it goes to die. Sure. So. Yeah, I mean, I think the key is just to make sure that employers are, are part of the process. Right. That, you know, they've taken a look at your competencies, that they value your competencies, and that those relationships are set up ahead of time. So that by the time you have a student go through, they know what they can do with it already. 